Because dance knowledge is all about bringing the latest research straight into the studio, it makes sense that we put together a course that gives uh, dancers and dance teachers an idea about how to access and then navigate and read academic research articles. Now I'm sure that may sound a little bit dry, but in fact, if you can just sort of step your toes into this space, you'll start to see just how much information there is available to you to access and to implement to really help dancers in their training. So in this course, I'm going to give you an overview of, first of all, how to search for academic research articles, and then second of all, how to then navigate and read a typical research article and, and really how these articles are structured. So we're going to start actually with this site here by Google, and this you can see at the top here is Google Scholar. So you can see I'm in Australia and so it's .com.au but scholar.google. wherever you are in the world will work just the same. And you can see it looks quite similar to Google with a few extra little bits and pieces around the top but really we've got a pretty standard search engine here. And this is where you put your keywords in. So when you're interested in looking for a particular uh, topic of research this is where you put the, your search terms in just like you do in regular Google. So today let's have a look at dancer uh, leg alignment in turnout and hit enter and away we go. So you can see here we've got about 3,700 articles that have come up with keywords relating to dancer leg alignment and turnout. And just to give you a bit of uh, navigation around what this page actually is, the, the top line here, so this line at the top, is the article's title. Here is the author. This is the journal, the publication that it was published in. This is the year that it was published. And then you've got some other aspects down here that I'll talk about in a second. So each one of these entries is a research article that has something to do with dancer leg alignment in turnout. Now, one of the really great things about Google is that down the right hand side here, you can see some of the articles have been found to be connected to PDFs. And so if you click on these links, so I'll just click on the link here then in fact it takes you out to an actual copy of the research. And this is becoming more and more common in academic research because academics are well aware of the fact that they do all of this great research and it doesn't reach the people that it can really benefit. So these types of research articles that you can see here are being opened up to the public through public access avenues such as this one here. So this is a fully downloadable PDF that you can take. The next step, of course, is then having to read it and to understand it, which we're going to look at later in the course. But some great resources here nonetheless. Just one other thing is down the side here, you can see that we've got uh, a little link that says cited by. So what this refers to is all of the articles that have been published after this one that have cited this article as a reference. So they've seen it as a valuable information resource and then they've subsequently cited it in their paper. So you can click on this and then go through and look at all of the other articles that have cited through uh, this paper. So this is probably a little bit bewildering. So you can sort of see how much volume there is with regard to Google Scholar and how much information there is available. And as you become more familiar with the search terms and start to um, get better at searching through your particular articles, you'll be able to narrow it down and to find the things that you are really looking for. A couple of other little uh, tricks that you can use to uh, refine your search is if you click on this drop down arrow at the top here, you can uh, 
put these specific terms in. So we might want the exact phrase, dance a leg alignment turnout. And if we did, then we could take that and put it down into there. But we, we don't for today, but that's something you could do. Um, we can look for the authors. So we can look for specific names of specific authors. We can look for specific names of specific journals. And we can also limit the articles to when they were published. So I'd really urge you to log on to Google Scholar. You don't need a Google account to look in and search through it, although you can save your searches and so forth if you do have a Google account, but it's a really great resource for you to access when you have this idea of how then you can navigate and read these research articles. So I'm going to limit my search down to articles that were published since 2016. And the reason I've done that is you can see at the top here, then you've got an article that I published in 2016, looking at leg alignment in dancers during turnout. And it does have a website um, publication here, so you can read it here. But also if you click on, you see all three versions at the bottom, then you can see there's a PDF download as well, which you can get the full access to the article from. So this is the article that I'm going to go through that I'm going to show you how to then read and interpret the article. So I'd really urge you to try and go onto Google Scholar as a next step. Just pause your course and go onto a web page, go onto Google Scholar and try to find this article and download the PDF. I'll put the PDF up on the course as well if you can't find it, so no problems there. But um, it's a little exercise that you can perform to try your first step into Google Scholar and accessing the research articles for you to use in the studio.